Globucel SC Infusion Administration or handling instructions Globucel SC is for subcutaneous use only. Do not inject into a blood vessel. Follow the administration guidance below and use a septic technique when administering Globucel SC. 1. Getting ready for infusion. Clean work area and gather your infusion equipment. Infusion pump and compatible syringes. Needle for drawing up the product from the vial. Infusion set varies according to manufacturer's instructions. Disinfectant wipes. Patient's treatment diary or logbook. Wash your hands thoroughly and let them dry. 2. Checking and opening the vials. If taken out of the refrigerator, allow vials to reach room temperature that is less than or equal to 25 degrees Celsius. Inspect each vial carefully. Check that the expiration date has not been passed. Check that the appearance of the solution do not use the solution if it is cloudy or contains particles. Make sure the protective cap is not broken or missing. Remove the cap. Disinfect the rubber stopper by using a sterile wipe and allow it to dry. 3. Preparing and filling the syringe. Open sterile syringe and needle. Attach the needle to the syringe with a screw action. Draw the plunger back to fill the syringe with air which should be roughly equal to the amount of solution needed from the vial. Insert the needle into the center of the vial stopper and turn the vial upside down. To avoid foaming, ensure that the tip of the needle is not in the solution and then inject the air. Next, move the needle so that the tip is in the solution and then slowly draw up the desired volume of Globucel SC. Withdraw the needle from the vial. This procedure might be repeated if you need to use more than one vial. When finished, remove the needle and dispose of it into the sharps bin and proceed to the next step. 4. Preparing the tubing Prime the administration tubing according to manufacturer's instruction to eliminate all remaining air. 5. Preparing the infusion site and inserting the infusion needle. Globucel SC can be infused in the following areas. Abdomen, thigh, upper arm and or upper leg or hip area. The number and location of injection sites depend on the volume of the total dose. The infusion sites should be at least 2 inches apart. A maximum of 6 infusion sites can be used simultaneously. 6. Preparation for infusion Clean your skin at selected infusion site with an antiseptic skin wipe starting at the center and working outward in a circular motion and allow each side to dry before proceeding. Pinch the skin between your thumb and forefinger around the injection site and insert the needle into the subcutaneous tissue. The angle of the needle will depend on the type of infusion set being used. Secure the needle in place by applying sterile gauze and tape or transparent dressing. 7. Checking the infusion Check the needle placement by pulling back on the syringe plunger. There should not be any blood in return the tubing. If the blood return is seen, remove the needle and restart from step 5 with a new tubing at a different location. 8. Starting the infusion Start the infusion. If an infusion pump is used for infusion, follow the manufacturer's instructions. 10. After infusion is complete, Gently remove the needle or needles and immediately place it into sharp bends. If necessary, press a small piece of gauze on the needle site and apply a dressing. Discard all used disposable supplies as well as any unused product and the empty vial or vials as recommended by your healthcare provider and according to local requirements. If using a pump, clean and store it according to the manufacturer's instructions. For self-administration, provide the patient and caregiver with instructions and appropriate training for infusion at home or other appropriate setting. Verify that the patient or caregiver is capable of self-administration using the appropriate technique.